From your local election headquarters now, we're getting our first look at the Democratic ticket in the race for 2020. California Senator Kamala Harris joined Joe Biden today to launch a new campaign against President Donald Trump. Harris is a historic pick and is no stranger to trailblazing political paths. Senator Harris is the first black woman and the first person of Indian descent to run as a major party vice presidential nominee. That is bringing cheers from some people across the country, including some in Evansville. Brandon Bartlett has the story of one of those individuals. We made the sacrifice. We took the beatings. We took the, the name call and we did the, the spit on and all that stuff for us to be where we are today. Reverend Gerald Arnold grew up during the pinnacle of the civil rights movement. I uh, grew up in Monroe, Louisiana. And I got knocked off sidewalks. I was denied access to restaurants. I could not live but in a certain segment of town. Schools were segregated. Reverend Arnold recalls he and his friends being shot after trying to order a root beer float. We walked up to the window and the man said, we can't serve you. And we said, well, you're gonna serve us. And, uh, and finally, shotguns came out of the cars and everywhere. Acts like this fueled his drive to fight for equality. I'm part of this evolution. You know, where you couldn't think about running to be president. You couldn't think about being a fireman. You couldn't think about being a policeman. You couldn't think about being any of this stuff. Reverend Arnold has seen Barack Obama, the first man of color in the Oval Office, and now the first black female of Indian descent as a vice presidential nominee. I'm, I'm delighted. I'm delighted to see it. But he says he is more drawn to her abilities as senator of California than the color of her skin. She's a gutsy, heads up individual. Reverend Arnold is hoping this upcoming presidential election brings unity that he says the country needs. America's always been great. Okay? We just got to make sure that we keep the greatness going.